In this video, I want to show you a cast iron repair that I made to my drill press table. This particular table has been repaired in the past. I repaired it about four years ago. I didn't even put any welds on the front side of the crack, and it started to separate here a little bit, as you can see, and the table no longer sits level. This time I'm going to be doing a TIG weld repair to this cast iron table, and I'm still doing everything wrong. I'm just using a TIG welder, standard ER70S6 filler wire. I will not be preheating the parts, and I'm not going to put them in a sand bed to cool them down. And I want to show you how this weld repair comes out on this cast iron, even though I did do everything wrong. So the first thing I did is I got one of these Benchmark Abrasive 2-inch Rolock discs flap disc for your uh, angle grinder basically and went in there and tried to grind out as much of just try to get most of the clumps of those big welds out of there so I can get down to the crack and see what I'm doing and clean it up make room for the new repair welds I did not have this air angle grinder and these two inch flap discs at the time I made that first repair so this is a big difference in in being able to really get in there and clean this up so I can get a decent repair. Next I took a Benchmark Abrasives four and a half inch cutoff wheel and I wanted to cut in some pretty decent bevels or grooves right over the crack. Basically I just kind of cut the crack out from this front side of the uh, cast iron table. Cleaned out all the debris the best I could without trying to mess up the other side of that hole there. And got that cleaned out so I can lay in some new weld in there and replace that cracked portion of the cast iron. I decided to do this on one side only, put the weld in, and then I would take it over and cut the other half in so I don't get a lot of movement in the piece. Hopefully I can keep it aligned. Then I used the uh, TIG welder to lay in a bead right across the bottom of the groove that I cut into it and you got to be real careful when you're welding this cast iron or TIG welding cast iron I found out through this process the weld goes in pretty good once you get some filler wire in there but the boundary line between the cast iron and the filler wire that you're putting in you want to kind of swirl the torch a little bit so that you kind of swirl or mix those two metals together and if you put in plenty of filler, kind of overfill the weld, it seems to actually do pretty well. Or it did on this particular cast iron. I have no idea exactly what type of cast iron this is. And I just went through layer after layer until I filled up that gap that I had cut in there until it was full to the top and it overfilled a little bit so I can grind that final edge down. After I took the cutting wheel and cut a bevel on the other side, I went to town with the TIG welder and just did the exact same process that I did on the first half. And then this is what I ended up with. I have quite a bit to grind away, so I took a, again, a Benchmark Abrasives flap disc. I used a couple different grits, started with a little bit stiffer grit, like a 80 or something like that and worked my way down to a 120 and I'm not the best at this uh, blending style grinder work but I got it done and was able to get it relatively flat and then I took my uh, air angle grinder and a benchmark abrasives carbide cutting tool I really didn't have the right shape cutting tool to wall this out with but I was able to get it done so I could get the piece mounted back onto the drill press I've got the repaired cast iron table bolted back onto the uh, drill press. It's nice and level both directions on the uh, drill bit. So I've got that 90 degrees that I was looking for so I can get a straight hole in the piece I'm working on. You can see here on the back where it fits up there snug from the top to the bottom. And here on the front where it attaches to the drill press, I ran a couple of beads just along that crack so I got probably pretty close to 100% penetration on these welds. So let me know in the comments how long you think this cast iron weld repair is going to last. Be interesting to see how long this one's going to last. 
Click on that video on the screen to check out more welding and fabrication videos. And we'll see you over there.